So hello everyone, this is LaToya of Infinite Nature and I would like to welcome everyone who is new to my page because I finally hit the milestone of 11, I mean of 1,000 followers, you know, I don't like to use the word followers, but 11,000 people are connected to Infinite Nature pay, um, 1,000, I should say 11,000, 1,000 people um, is connected to my page. Um, infinite nature page and I'm so grateful for that and I just wanted to welcome you and that I am as I said before LaToya and I started the infinite nature back in 2015 when I embarked on my raw vegan journey um, I was already three years into my vegan journey and decided to eat raw and I didn't stop and um, I was very excited about that experience and how it really was shifting so everything the mind body and spirit was really shifting things for me and I wanted to just share my enthusiasm with everyone and you know sharing food that I was eating and what it was doing for me internally you know spiritually mentally and emotionally what it was doing for me and then I you know started my YouTube channel and from there I started to make videos in relation to my journey and also in relation to my spiritual journey and my the books that I like to read and just my interests and you know from there you know I started to embark on my own journey of leaving my job like right when I was like the, within a year of me eating raw I left my job I got clarity to leave my job I started a personal development program which changed my life forever that was founded by Iyanla Van Zant. And, um, and then from there, I, me and my husband, we moved to Savannah. We moved from Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware, all the way to Savannah, Georgia, where I'm originally from. And we just embarked on our journey together. Um, you know, it's, a lot has happened. <laughs> and from there, we were. this was before I had a baby. So I, um, my daughter is two years old. Um, and we moved to Savannah about five years ago. So... Um, a lot has changed, a lot has shifted, um, and then from there, I started getting more into recognizing that this is the type of work that I want to do. So I am a holistic health, a holistic health advocate, and the purpose of Infinite Nature is tapping into your power within through health and wellness. What I initially started doing was I used to do like health consultations and things of that nature, but then from there, um, I feel like. I want to do it on a larger scale. That's something that I, I see myself doing in more big group settings and things of that nature. So just stay tuned. And that's part of the reason why I started doing these um, raw vegan challenges, which is coming up. The five day raw vegan challenge for the fall equinox is starting on um, it started on September 17th through the 21st and you break it on the 22nd, which is they have it down as the fall equinox is on the 22nd but I know that sometimes people say that it's 21st 22nd or whatnot so you're breaking up your fast on the 22nd but you know the whole purpose of these challenges is so that people can really in, not only do you uh, I want to encourage you to be creative in the kitchen and to really see the fun how fun it is to embark on this journey of eating raw and how you can incorporate more of it into your lifestyle even if you decide to you know eat a little bit of everything you know you still see the importance of connecting with the earth through the foods you eat and how it really is cleansing for you for your mind body and spirit you know so I showcase this challenge these challenges in the way so that you can see that it impacts all areas of your life so you will have access to a platform and you will also be able to actually um, have access to videos each day they're pre-recorded videos every day and it focuses on a specific theme that you can utilize not only for this challenge but also for all areas of your life you'll have access to recipes you'll have access to food demos um, tips um, and these in the food demos that I will show case for specifically for this challenge you will have access to them before I release them out to the public and you know and you'll also have access to me if you have any questions or concerns or need any tips or some level of support you'll have access for me and kudos to the people that took the opportunity to buy the challenge for five dollars that was my gift for my birthday was you know um, 
dropping down the pricing to five dollars it's still affordable now but you know it was great if you took that opportunity to sign up for it then you know because that's pretty much close to free <laughs> yeah um but but yeah that's the gist of everything i kind of just kind of went through it because I want to get to the to the to the main focus of this video and as you can see the I have on here how to get your significant other to um, eat vegan raw vegan and if you have been following a couple of my posts I've talked about that and really honestly you can't do anything that person has to want to be able to do it for themselves you know and I share the story of me being the one that was not eating plant-based when me and my husband first met each other I was not eating plant-based you know when I initially off our first first time we connected with each other we were not I was not eating plant-based he actually inspired me to eat plant-based it was something that I had planted in my I had planted uh, the seed in my mind to do that a year prior to even meeting him however he didn't make me do it you know what I'm saying he just was being himself and he was showing the enthusiasm of it and he shared it in a way that made me think that it was possible for me to do it considering I was living in Alabama at that time where that is like one of the most non-vegan places in America <laughs> that was the one the most non-plant-based areas in a, in America like no um, mm -mm. so the point I'm making is you cannot make anyone do it you have to just be yourself you have to set the example and you know when you're preparing your delicious meals you offer them some you know and if they like certain dishes you can make it a plant-based based version of it and see how they like it you may be surprised they may be surprised at how they take to it and even though and you may have it to where your significant other may not ever completely transition to the lifestyle that you own that you are on but you have to embrace that you have to accept the fact that they may never ever be interested in transitioning to whatever that you're doing and you just have to be okay with that you know um as long as you are as long as they respect that and as long as they appreciate you for you then that's all that matters and there is a raw foodist um she's like 79 years old if i'm not mistaken name aren't um name annette larkins and she or annette larkin I don't know if it's Larkins or Larkin, but Annette Larkins, she is, uh, she's been, I know at least vegetarian since the 60s, you know, and she has been raw for at least 30 years, and her husband, who she's been married to for years, and they have like, I think, two children, he's been eating, you know, meat since they've been together, and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure her, her love for for uh for whole foods so has supported him to be still be here because he's like 10 years older than her but the, if you look up annette larkins or larkin i forgot she's a 79 year old raw foodist and she has a husband that eats meat and she and eats uh, i don't know exactly what he eats but i know he eats meat so if she's able to do it then anybody can do it so I, I feel like people have to stop making excuses also for the reason why they are not choosing to elevate for what their spirit is telling them to do or what their body is calling them to do. Your significant other does not have to be on the same journey as you food wise, but it, it is easier and it is helpful. And as I stated, my husband already was eating plant based before I even decided to do it he was six years in you know he was almost six years into his journey and I was a newbie and he was patient and he you know encouraged me and I'm a great one thing about me when I am ready for something and when I am determined to do something I want to do it and I'm gonna put everything into it. anybody that knows me really well knows that when I am dedicated to something I go all out and that's what I did I was ready for it I had somebody telling me what to do to make it possible and I went out and I did it and I didn't stop 
And then from there, I'm the one that initiated the, the six years of the raw foods experience. I'm the one that initiated it. I'm the one that, you know, wanted to do that. And I wasn't even trying to do it for thir uh, for a long time. I did it for, I was attempting to do it for a month, but I felt so good on it that it turned into six years, me and my husband doing it together. And I think that people can't sometimes, that's how, this is how it comes off in the nine years of me being plant-based and then having a significant other that also eats plant-based too. I think that people think that it's much easier than it looks. And I know that we make it look easy because, but we've been doing it for a while. He's like 15 years in. I'm nine years in and there's people that have been doing it longer. But when you are in the, in the household with a person and they're doing the same thing as you, it is easier. But let me tell you, it's still possible. But because, I mean, but because before I lived with him, I had to engage in other experiences before him. Even like we were long distance for a whole year before I even decided to be in close vicinity him move to move to be in the same area that he was in you know i i tell you our story is a very interesting one and just how we all how we came together and i know that a lot of times women they like really love um women or people in general because they, are, they very they admire the fact that we um, we're on this journey together that we support each other on our journeys together as far as with our health and wellness but you know what I have to say that everyone has the divine opportunity to to create their story to create their life the way they want it to I'm not we're not exceptions you know everyone has the ability to live their life the way they want to I was just very intentional with what I wanted before I met my husband I was um, before I met my husband I was on my own personal journey when I met before I met my husband I was 26 years old about to be 27 years old I had just got out of a horrible situationship with someone who was not worthy of my time so I had a lot of self-reflection and had to hold myself accountable for the type of situation that I put myself in because I had the experience of of, of, of figuring out what I wanted and what I did not want in a mate I created a list of what was a, what was a um, high value man to me which is a man of character so I wrote a list of a man with high character traits of what is important to me what matters the most to me and then from there I've told you earlier is that I wrote on my list that I wanted to eat vegetarian so the universe always gives us much more than we can even imagine the the, the universe has can, ha, creates what we see for ourselves the universe sees so much more for us so in my in, in my view of how things happen well because I was focusing on my own self um, my own self healing because I was taking better care of myself because I was intentionally working on my personal development I was writing my feelings, my emotions, and what I wanted for my life out. I was reading books that enhance my consciousness. I was watching things that inspire me. I was watching other couples, even if they were on YouTube, that reflected something that I would like to be in. I was starting to just surround my environment, even though I may not have been physically in an environment that did not reflect what I wanted, I was creating it in the best way that I can see fit. And I'm saying this story because the main, the sole purpose of me, one of the main purposes of me having infinite nature and sharing this is so that people can tap into their power within and see that you have the power to create the life that you desire. You just have to believe that you can do so. You have to have the imagination. You have to have the faith. You have to believe that you deserve so much out of your life and you have to do the work what you're seeing now is so many years in the making on a on in a on a un, like unconsciously it was from the age of 20 but consciously I was on this journey from the age of at least 20 uh, six years old newly 26 years old consciously I've been on that journey and I am now 36 years old you feel me and I just been on this journey of personal health and wellness and development 
because with the type of work that I'm getting myself into, I cannot be a burnt out facilitator of health. I can't be a burnt out healer. I have to make sure that I'm doing the work for myself so that I can inspire other people and shift the energy of those or uh, shift the energy of my own environment and those around me so that they can see that they can do it for themselves. That is so important, so key to me. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I just noticed just from conversations that I've had over the years and just from recently in a DM, someone, and that's what triggered me to want to make this video is someone came to my DM, asked, you know, very curious, just very curious about like, like how me and my husband was a are able to do this together and you know wanting to see what we did so that he can encourage his significant other to be able to be on board with eating raw and I'm like you can't make them do it if they don't want to you know and you know but then this person started to psychoanalyze me um, I felt like and I'm like and I'm a lover of astrology of the stars I, I love to study numbers and how that impacts my life but you have to also consider the fact that people have their own experiences people have their own perspectives people have their own um, personal development you know they some people may don't delve into their personal development and some people are very committed to their personal development you know people handled their traumas differently people may not even recognize how much trauma they have within them and they are acting out in ways that are not beneficial to them and there are people that are able to recognize and identify it quickly there are some people that recognize they need the help and the support and they go out and they make sure they get the resources that they need and some people don't know where to start some people don't are not in an environment where they're able to be able to recognize that there's so many aspects of it so it's like you can psychoanalyze somebody all you want to but you don't know that person's what they come from what they've experienced and what they endured and for me I'm a black woman here in America so there's certainly things that I have that I continuously have to work through and unlearn but there's also that I have privileges to it you know I still have my privileges but one thing that I will not discount and one thing that I will not dismiss is the work that I have done throughout my adult life the work that I have done before I even when I was a young adult I'm not going to dis discount any of that you know and I think that sometimes when people see where you are now especially if you're flourishing and you're thriving and you're growing to who you are it's so easy to just think that they just took a magic pill or took a magic wand and that's not the case that is absolutely not the case and it's not the case for me I was very very intentional about what I wanted after a while when I hit my after 25 and after dealing with different guys and whatever the case may be I recognize that I I started having more standards <laughs> for myself for real and that's part of the reason why I was able to get the a support a, a mate that was supportive when it came to my personal development is because that was important to me it was important to me to have a, a, a generous a man that's generous a man that's ambitious a man that is uh, that is family orientated that's something that's important to me uh, a man I'm trying to remember all the things that I wrote on that list there was a there was a, a lot of things that was uh, that was on that list somebody that's community orientated that stuff like that is important to me but the universe gave me more than I could even imagine you know he was the, the universe said hey creator the creator creatress said hey not only am I going to give you these things you had on your list I'm gonna give you a little more and it's gonna come with some challenges to it but I think you can handle it I didn't even know what a vegan was when I met my husband I didn't know what that was but you know the, like I said the the universe has a huge humor you know and the, and the beautiful thing about eating more plant eating clean eating plant-based eating food of the earth is that it made me very way more aware of my intuition it made me aware of way of um, trusting my intuition I should say being in alignment with my discernment 
you know it may be be able to have a clear mind you know it made my that my feelings and my emotions more balanced my yacht has always been a part of my of my life and I didn't even realize it when my when my um life was out of whack it was because I was out of I was out of balance and eating more uh, and eating more plant-based going into the plant-based journey that really supported me in being more in my eye you know my yacht is a common common theme in my life and I see how with the work that I am doing I need to be in my eye my heart has to be balanced as a Leo I have to my heart has to be balanced because we are ruled by the heart and if we're not careful we can close our hearts up and fellow leaders know that when you especially when you feel like you can't trust if you feel like you get to that point where you feel like you can't trust nobody or you feel betrayed we have a tendency to close our heart up or we have our heart wide open and it's about being uh, having an open heart having compassion having empathy you know but it's also about guarding your heart meaning being protective of what you allow in your environment in your mind in your thoughts how you how you speak it's so many things there's so much um, but I just want people to just remember that you have the power to create the life that you desire and that's why I tend to post a lot about creating your vision writing your attention down and and taking the actions to be able to make this possible for yourself and I was doing this way before I even before I was for, formally taught these things um when I begin to do you know get sit at the feet of elders sit at the feet of people that have done this with more experience like I would write I was a, I'm a writer naturally I'm a writer so I write in my journal a lot I write down a list of things I wanted to accomplish especially when I first was on my plant-based journey I was listening to a lot of Napoleon Hill um think and grow rich I was reading a I was reading a lot of motivational things to keep me going and I think that people sometimes just assume that I just had it just so easy and like not realizing I'm from the south like I didn't grow up this way I didn't grow up eating you know this way I didn't grow up with with these uh I didn't grow up living the life that I live now even though it is definitely connected to my ancestry to a degree I didn't grow up actively doing these things it's something that I had to grow into it's something that I had to meet different people who taught me different things and that I apply it and now I'm sharing what I've learned and you can apply it in your own way if you're inspired or you feel moved by the things that I'm saying and if it doesn't resonate with you that's fine too but I'm just here to let you know it's like don't compare your life to others because you don't know what they have to what they have had to go through to get to where they are you don't know what they have had to endure before that you don't know what they're currently going through you know what I mean I had to learn some 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 very interesting lessons before I met my supportive husband you know what I mean I had to learn some very important lessons and that does not even mean that we don't go through things that don't mean that we don't we, don't, we stop going through things it definitely builds your character you know it's just that I just want people just to not compare your life to others and just don't assume that somebody just got it so much easier than you because you don't know because as you move through as you ascend to different levels and as you move forward in your journey you'll find that you'll be met with much with more complex um, challenges that you have to go through it's like be careful what you ask for I remember seeing that and I think I shared it on my on my stories like be careful about wanting to about wanting something that someone else has because you you also going to have to deal with the same um, you're going to also have to deal with the same problems that come with having that having what they have so just be very mindful and be very careful of that you know and I, I was talking about my husband about this this morning. And I was like, man, people have no clue. It's like, have absolutely no clue how sometimes it's challenging. When, when, when you make something look easy, but at the same time, people make it seem like it's impossible. Like, at the same time, somebody may think it's impossible for them. And it's like, 
you have absolutely no clue of like the amount of discipline the amount of determination the amount of having a strong will and strong mind where you have to block block out people's insecurities and block out people's doubts about you being on your path you know especially when I was in my early stages and phases of it man if I would have listened to some of the things that was being said to me I would not be where I am but I continued on my path and I was able to manifest and create things so swiftly and I know part of it is because of my, me cleansing my internal my body cleansing my body cleaning up my my diet supporting me and cleaning up all areas of my life and I just want people to just understand that part of the reason yes I show a lot of raw food I show a lot of, about physical about the physical but this journey is very spiritual for me very ancestral to me even though some of my ancestors may have eaten meat they did not eat it to the magnitude into the access that we currently eat it in our communities you know we have to learn how to trust that we can heal ourselves and heal our families. We have to learn how to trust ourselves and, and recognize the power within us and stop being so dependent on what other people have to say about your well-being. Now that's real power when you can see that you can heal your family. We got to get back to identifying plants, including myself identifying plants getting out in nature spending more time in nature spending more time in the sun educating our children at home you know there's so much you know living this life can sometimes feel lonely even though I know I'm not alone but sometimes it feels that way because you are a minority in your surroundings at times and that's why it's important to find people that you can connect with and can relate to and that doesn't mean that you have to alienate yourself from people that are not like that are not on the same path because I feel like it's important to be well-rounded but I do know that it's important to be connected to people who been where you've been or can are on the same path as you are on you need that you need that area you need that group of people too and one of the things that I do every day is I pull cards for myself. So sometimes I share, I always share like these. My husband got me these quote cards. So I pull these every day for myself and I share them on my page. So they're not for fluff. I actually pull these cards for myself and I, and I feel moved to show them on my page. So that's why I do it. But this one stood out to me. This is from the Sacred Creators. This is from... This card says, move beyond the intention to believe. And I talked about that, about how intentional I tend to be with my life um, for the most part. I still need reminders. And sometimes I have to, and, and things like this remind me to be intentional and to recognize my own power when I start to recognize that people seem to lack their own, their own abilities to create their own life. So move beyond attention to belief the number five which is my number that's my life path lump number that is my personal year for this year that's the universal year you know for numerology and number five means change and transformation and adventure you know five is a very dynamic number and I really wanted to share this because to me this goes along with everything that I'm talking about it says move beyond intention to believe the importance of traditions and beliefs working within a group bringing your light to a conventional workplace finding joy in a structured environment shining your truth into the world helping others finding the key to your spiritual north leading learning to be your own guru the self-care measures getting stuck in the status quo a time to challenge institutional beliefs letting go of old ways of thinking that you have outgrown learning to navigate as a new age thinker in an old age circumstance the need to cultivate more faith the now the message overall message you are a spiritual being and you have light working charisma in, in spades you have the glow of a leader 
and the ability to bring people together under a common umbrella for a unified goal. Use your powerful voice and your message to inspire people and show them the way by walking the talk, which is very important to me. Very important to me personally. Seek to serve and move from intention to a place of unquestionable belief. You are being asked to untether your faith so that you can multiply and flourish. Remember that there is no need to follow anyone else without first checking in with your own wise heart. Are you holding on to the old ways of thinking without questioning them? What beliefs are you growing into? Allow spirit to show you how to believe, how to really believe, because this that because that is how your intentional, miraculous, and spectacular life thrives. Choose your beliefs. Write them down. Uh, know that they will guide you through any hardship they face. Say them out loud and hear the conviction in your voice. State your future for the universe to hear. And when you do, you will unlock a beautiful symphony of success. Let me tell you something. A lot of the things that I have manifested in my life became came into fruition because I wrote it down and I said it every day and I still do it and there had there there came a time where I stopped doing it however I got reminders from reminders due to, due to interaction with others to continue on and do it again so these so now they have questions that go along with this so it says is an old belief keeping you locked in the status quo it may not always click it may not always be easy how can you make sure it always feels uplifting and inspiring how can you navigate an old paradigm with new ways of thinking and how can you navigate a new paradigm and the unknown with old traditions and tone and what needs to happen so that the past and the future can merge gracefully and how can you stretch your views in order to honor others beliefs and how can you find a satisfying middle ground how solid is your faith so that is the divine message that I pulled for myself and I felt like I needed to share this in this live because it is definitely um, what the what I've been trying to convey in this message right now and I'm normally on this live um, sh much shorter but I really wanted to share this so this is also another good one that came from this card the value of playfulness is also related this is this is the card so I got I, I got I know about this because of my therapist um, it's, it's a um, pretty much just mindfulness cards so you pull one each day or whatever and it supports you in being more mindful so the play the value of playfulness for many people mindfulness can seem like more work another tour like an exercise or or brushing your teeth which we gradually do because we know it's good for us but the magic happens when we approach mindfulness with creativity playfulness and delight try spending 20 minutes a day engaging in playfulness whether it's writing a funny poem for a friend dressing up in a silly outfit or goofing around with friends in the park the playful mind is an open mind and a cultivating and cultivating playfulness uh, no and cultivating playful experiences will lead to a more joyful experience of life so the reason why I wanted to share this card that I pulled for myself because I feel like this is part of the message that I'm sharing now in the importance of being playful when it comes to your health and wellness because when it people think of health they think of normally that's uncomfortable it's normally scary and uncomfortable for people and I want people to be more playful in the kitchen, more have more fun in the kitchen, you know, have more joy for eating such lovely foods, regardless of your food preferences. Eat healthier foods, clean more clean foods. All right. So here's another one that I pulled from this card deck. Caroline Meese, eat healthful foods. So here's a message that I have here. Eat healthful foods. Eat only the foods that are good for you. Perhaps this is something you can you normally do. In which case you should be feel very good about about how you how well you're caring for yourself. 
Most important, however, know that they should be more attentive to this. Most people, however, know that they should be more, more attentive to this area, but find it difficult. Your goal is to practice healthy nutrition. So this is, to me, a divine message. And examine unfinished business is another card I pull. Identify one piece of unfinished business. This can relate to a person or task. Then do one thing to bring it to closure. If you find that you're unable to do so, you've identified a major power leak and a serious block to your healing. Your goal is to understand that all experiences either make you bitter or better. So this is also a reminder to balance your heart and to make your heart as light as a feather and not to allow your past experiences whatever that may be, to hinder you from living the life that you desire and to have the people around you that is deserving of that. So that's all that I wanted to share. I know that was long. That was probably at least 30 minutes. And thank you for those who have watched this far. You know, maybe you are meant to hear this message for a reason. But once again, you can sign up for the five-day raw vegan challenge for the fall equinox coming up on September 17th through the 21st. Um, and you can sign up by going to the link in the bio on my Instagram profile, or you can go to loveinfinitenature.com and sign up that way. So thank you so much for your time and have a great day. See you later. Bye.